Hey everybody. Just gonna turn my camera around like usual. Okay. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing good. Ugh. I can't see if there's any chats. Hmm. Okay, I see there's three people in here, but I'm not seeing any comments. Sorry guys, I tried tried getting in a different way, so it's like, and it looks like I might be down. Hmm. Supposed to be right there. Mm -mm. You might not. <laughs> oh well. Hey guys. Well, crap. Let's see here. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, Lucy Lynn. Hey, Marcata. Okay. I am in now. Sorry, guys. I was trying something new. Anyway. Hope everyone's doing well tonight. Um, I am, yeah, I'm doing good. How was your guys' weekend? Did you guys have a good weekend? Maybe. Hopefully you guys had a good weekend. I just... Uh, okay. People talking. It's like super. Okay, yes. Very, very busy birthday party. That's awesome. That is awesome. I hope you liked his creepy bear party. That is awesome. <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to come on here and see how you guys were doing and kind of show you guys i did do a i did a little j beeves haul um the coupon code expires april 30th so i had to hurry up and um order a few things even though i'm on a no buy which went horribly wrong but um uh well what's important is he had a good time that's what's important um so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. So I had, I had, you know, I've been getting new subscribers and everything. And, um, unfortunately, um, I did have to, um, like delete a comment someone made because they did use the F word. Um, so if, if I delete a comment that someone leaves, it's nothing against you personally. It's just, I can't have certain verbiage on my channel or in comments because I can get um, strikes, I can get demonetized, there's all sorts of things. So if, if you know, you do, which I use the F word when I'm not on camera, you know, like I swear, okay? But if I do delete a comment, it's nothing personal. It's just, I need to make sure everyone's comfortable on my channel and I also need to make sure that I don't get demonetized or anything. So I don't think that person's in here that person hasn't watched any of my videos or anything like that. So, um, but if they do watch this, it was nothing personal. I just can't have the F word being used. So I do apologize. I'm sorry if it hurt your feelings. It was nothing against you personally. I personally use the F word from time to time, but I just have to make sure people are comfortable and I don't get demonetized or get strikes or anything for language or anything like that. So, um, I hope you like the Charlie Red. Lucy, it's an awesome perfume. I really, really, really love it. It is awesome. Like, it is a great perfume. So, I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow, actually. But, um, what did, how was your guys' night? What did you guys make for dinner? Are you guys, like, barbecuing yet or anything like that? Hmm. 
it's good. I hope you like it. It's a really, really nice fragrance. So, but. Sandwiches, awesome. I love doing like chips and sandwiches for a quick dinner. We had, uh, I made uh, baked potatoes, so. I love baked potatoes, but they take a while, so it's definitely a weekend type of thing for me, but. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on to what people are here for. So, um, if you're interested, I will put the JB's um, coupon code that I was given. I'll put it in my community, so if you want to use it, you're more than welcome to. But uh, I wish it would be cooling down here. It's getting like in the 70s. I am not digging it at all. Not liking it at all. Ugh. Okay, so I have my little list here of what I got, so I'll kind of tell you guys the prices. I like the cold weather better than the heat. I cannot stand heat. So I did buy, I did spend $25 um, on JB's, but I got quite a few things. So first thing I got was this awesome kitty unicorn headband for when I do makeup. Yep, I'll be 34 soon, but I don't care. I like it. Um, so yeah, 25 bucks for all this stuff. So, um, I also bought another pair of sunglasses because I have a problem. So, but there are these really, really cute, like aviator and they're kind of like, almost, almost like a rose gold, super, super cute. But yeah, so they're aviator, but they kind of got like a 1950s flair to them. But really, really cute sunglasses. They actually do have protection against UV rays and everything like that. But, yeah. Let's see. Um, I got some eyeshadow sealer. So you can use this to, like, make sure your eyeshadow stays put. You can also mix it in with, like, powder eyeshadow to make, like, eyeliner. But it's, like, waterproof. So it's called a shadow converter. So I'm excited to try that out. Oh, my gosh. So I got these... 3D Faux Mink Eyelashes for $1.99. Let me see if I can get these out. I haven't even opened these. Oh, but look at those. So they're like Faux Mink and for $1.99. Super, super pretty. I mean, they're really dramatic, but on camera does not do them justice. They're gorgeous. Hey, Megan. So yeah, they're cruelty-free. Um, they're Faux Mink. And they are from the brand Amoras, but really, really nice lashes. I got some little kitty cat ear clip. Like, these are like little barrettes. So, let's see. So, yeah, you just put them in and they're like little kitty cat ear barrettes. Because I'm obviously like a 12-year-old on the inside. It's fine, though. Um... I picked up two eyeshadow palettes as well. Um, this is from Beauty Creations. It's cruelty free. And I haven't even opened these. I was so good. I got the package, but I did not open anything. So. <laughs> I do love that they wrap everything super, super good. So I got the Esmeralda 2, and I also got the Esmeralda 1. Um, like I said, it is a cruelty-free brand, which is awesome. So these eyeshadow palettes were $7.49. But, let's see. Oh my gosh, guys, sorry. I probably should have opened all this stuff before. Okay, so here is the Esmeralda one. I do like the packaging. It's just really plain. Ooh. Okay, so those are the shades. That's really, really pretty. Holy crap, wow. That is a nice copper. I wanna to touch a matte, let's touch this. I think it's like a dark green. No, it's a dark brown. Wow, that is pigmented as well. Okay, no, it's a dark green, wow. Okay, so 749, that is gorgeous. And then the Esmeralda 2. I guess it was like a really good, I like how they kind of match. Oh wow, that's really pretty. There's like a dark navy blue shimmer. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm wearing brown tomorrow. Um, the owner of the company I work for is coming, and so is the client of the class I'm teaching. They're going to be here all week. So I have to, like, I always dress professionally, but I have to dress, like, uber professionally. So I bet that is pretty. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Oh, my gosh. That is stunning. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, $7.49 a piece, which is honestly not bad. Wow. I mean, these are kind of really neutral shadows, like a, like palette, but, I mean, those colors are super pigmented. Okay. I also picked up two more pairs of lashes. I love the Cara lashes. This is a little creepy. They are made out of human hair, um, but they're really nice lashes. They're $1.19, I think. So I already have this pair, but they're like really wispy and stuff. And they look really, really nice and natural on the eye. And then I also picked up this really dramatic pair. Um, but yeah, $1.19 and they are made with human hair. So if that creeps you out, you know, that might be something to look out for. But really, really pretty. Um, you always get a free gift if you spend $20 or more. So my free gift was a pro makeup brush. So it looks like a little eyeshadow brush. It's from Amora. It's the same people that did those 3D mink lashes. So synthetic hair. Okay. Oh, wow. That is a soft makeup brush. So it just looks kind of like a little fat chubby blender. So. And then the last thing I did get is a Profusion contour little stack. Um, I hope... It's powder, because it didn't say if it was powder or not, but, oh, no, it's not powder. It is cream, but, I mean, it's pretty creamy. So, yeah, you get, like, so five different shades, yeah. So, this is the darkest. That is a little stiff. It just might need to be warmed up. Ooh, that might be, I think that's going to be too dark for me, but. For someone with a deeper skin tone, that would be a nice contour, for sure. And they have kind of like a tan. If you guys are interested in seeing like a cream contour or bronzing tutorial, let me know. Um, it is really pretty and it can look really natural if you do it right. Ooh, that is orange, but that might be good for underneath the eyes. That's like really orange, but... That might be a good color corrector for underneath the eyes. But yeah, I mean, it's a nice little stack. I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge, per like I don't use a whole bunch of creams, but they're definitely not bad, very creamy. Okay, so that's everything I got for 25 bucks. So let's go through prices. So the Profusion 5 stack was $4.99. Yeah, I have a problem with it lifting my foundation as well. So I might have to try, um, even though I don't watch um, this person a lot, I did watch the Tati and Scott Barnes video. Seems like um, I might maybe try it underneath my foundation. That might be a good idea. Okay, so the Profusion 5 stack was $4.99. Okay, the Faux Mink lashes were $1.99, which I think these are beautiful and totally worth it. Um... These lashes were, oh no, there were only a dollar. So these were a buck. Like I already said, the eyeshadow palettes were $7.49 a piece. These sunglasses were $5.49. And then the little cat ears were a buck. And same with the um, eyeshadow sealer. So I think that's a really, really good deal. I still can't believe these uh, eyeshadow palettes. Holy crap. I haven't tried a whole bunch of beauty creations, but I might have to look into these now. Because uh, they're stunning. Those, I mean, those, they're just really, 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 really pigmented. That is crazy pigmented. That green, I still can't get over that green. Holy crap. Hey, Andre, how's it going? But yeah. Um, I definitely think I'm going to be using 
using one of these palettes tomorrow for sure because they're just really, really pretty. I'm pretty shocked at how pigmented and pretty these are. These are gorgeous. Have you, has, have you guys tried Beauty Creations before? I have never tried them, I don't think, but they're nice. Wow. But uh, like I said, I will definitely um, leave the little coupon code in my um, community if you're interested. It's 10% off. So, yeah, I like the Amuse. I've tried a lot of Amuse stuff, and uh, it seems like they got good stuff. But, yeah, I hadn't tried the Beauty Creations, but I'm pretty impressed. But I'm good. I'm just tired. Just tired. But, but yeah, I mean, that red is like stunning. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. But, but yeah, I spent $25.09. So that definitely was not bad for all that. I'm pretty impressed. But, so I've been trying out the camo concealer. Don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm going to try it a little bit longer before I do a review on it, but I've been trying it out. But, but yeah, um, just, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing okay. Just all this sad stuff in the news is getting me down pretty bad. So I'm trying to stay, stay up. So, but. it is super thick. It is super thick. Um, I've been having to use like a beauty sponge to blend it out and I don't like beauty sponges just for me. I don't. Um, but I definitely, yeah, it's really, really thick and I can definitely see, I think it was neighbor girl Bradshaw. She said, you don't need very much and you don't, you need just the slightest amount and it, um, yeah, it's, it's thick and it spreads, but yeah, Andre, it is 747 here in Utah, but yeah. Oh, it's still light. It's crazy. I just barely took out my garbage cans and it's like full daylight. It's crazy. Sorry, my neighbors are like going crazy next door. Holy crap. First I thought it was like an earthquake or something. What the heck? So we have, me and Sean have been talking and we've decided if I can find another job and stuff, we're going to be trying to move here in a little while. Our neighborhood is so bad. It's a horrible neighborhood, um, a lot of drug addicts, and we have a couple sex offenders that live down the street from us. Just not a great neighborhood. Rent is cheap, and it's close to public transportation, but uh, I we got to get out of here soon, because we will have been here three years in August, and I think it's time. I think it's going to be time to be moving on here in a little bit, but yeah... Not great, but, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys the awesome stuff I got for 25 bucks. I think it was a pretty good haul. They got all sorts of cool stuff on there. Um, if I wasn't on a no buy, which I totally screwed over, but, um, I would definitely have bought a few more things. They've got a lot of new, like spring and summer makeup on sale there. Um, lots and lots of highlighters and like and sticks and if you're a smaller person they even have like underwear and bras and like cute jewelry so they've got some really really cute stuff on there but hey Abby how's it going girl congratulations on the new job super happy for you but 
but yeah, um, I will definitely, um, I will definitely look into doing a video using cream products. Cause I do know like a lot of people like using cream contouring and everything. So if you would like that, I'd be, I'd be happy to do that for you guys. Oh, I didn't even realize there's a bottom little thing that comes with a little sponge. That's cool. But that's, that's neat. Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, Lucy Lynn. Oh my gosh. That was that a super chat? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Lucy. Well, good luck, Abby. I'm happy for you. Thank you so much, Lucy. Uh, thank you. Um, you know, I'm so appreciative, but your no buys, you know, don't really count if you are um, donating money to me. That's still, that's not how that works. So, but thank you. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Um, but um, yeah, I, yeah, I was super excited to share this with you guys because I love affordable stuff. And sometimes you can't just go by the price because Oh, I, I wish I could wear something appropriate, like something more colorful tomorrow, because I want to wear this shade on my eyes. I mean, I have like no highlight. I have like nothing on the back of my hand and even like spreading it out. Look how pigmented it is. Oh, so pretty. I want to do it. Oh, so let me grab my outfit tomorrow, really for tomorrow. And you guys tell me if copper would look good. Ugh. So I'm in a pair of black slacks and I'm going to wear this kind of bohemian looking shirt with a black tank top underneath it. But that copper shadow, like this first one right there, do you think it would look okay with it? It's so boring. It's so boring. I want to wear the green. Ugh. But oh well. I'll get to wear the green some other time, but, uh, so pretty. Uh, I wish I could do the green, but I feel like I'll get in trouble because it's supposed to be super professional. I want to see what these are going to look like. I always have the hardest time getting lashes off the packaging. I'll always end up like ripping lashes off or something. And I don't want to do that with these. I kind of want to see. The band's a little thick on these faux mink. There's no glue or anything, but I just kind of want to stick it on there. And they are like super fluffy. I think it's gonna look pretty. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really, really nice. Um, so Abby, um, the big wig for the place I work is coming. I think you've met him a few times. And also the, um, one of the clients is coming for one of the classes I'm teaching. So I got a pretty good idea. They're going to be sitting in on my class. So not super happy about that, but oh, those are so pretty. I don't know why I've gotten super into lashes lately, but I found some really, really good ones. It's actually going up tomorrow. If you haven't tried, yes. Yes, that person is coming tomorrow. It's going to be here all week. So it's going to be super fun. Yeah, super lucky me. Um, but, oh, I totally forgot my headband. My headband was a buck too. I think it's so cute. Um, how much time do I got left like on the stream? I usually go until I'm done talking. I don't know. I have no clue. Um, I just got to give the cats some canned cat food tonight. Finish up the dishes like my teacup. And I think that's it. So I don't got much more left to do. But, but yeah. But I, if you're not into big drag queen lashes like me, then you can do these dollar lashes. They're so pretty. Oh, and the bands is super, super thin. So definitely. But yeah, I mean, I'm 
I'm excited. I'm excited for things to change. I love it too. Well, that is like my goal in everyday life is to do my makeup like a drag queen. Like they have some serious makeup skills and I will never, ever, ever come close, but um, I do love it. But let's try these out. Guys, I have a serious problem. I probably got about 20 pairs of sunglasses now, but those are adorable. Those are cute. I like those a lot. Those are so cute. They are super, super sturdy too. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, I am excited for things to hopefully be changing soon. I am looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, they had a whole bunch of different sh colors too. They had um, like black and like leopard and all sorts of shades. I got that it's called, um, what color was it called? I think it was called like lavender or something. They're just like pink, but they're still really cute. Yeah, I love sunglasses. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I I guess around here they have like drag queen bingo and I wanted to go, but I'm also a recluse and I like being at home, so I haven't gone, but, but definitely. But yeah, so do you guys have any fun plans this week? You guys have heard kind of how my plans are going to be having to... I'm going to be busy working, like always, but with more pressure. But are you guys doing anything fun? Do anything fun with your week ahead? Meeting your new sister for the second time, that's going to be very interesting. Good luck. I hope, I hope that goes well. I really, really do. Abby, good luck with your job tomorrow. I know you're going to do awesome. You were in my training class, so I know you will do awesome. You're an awesome person, so I'm happy for you. I think I have some, like, step siblings out there I've never met and I don't know if I'd want to meet them so I think as we get older it gets harder so I think that is awesome that you are that you're doing that that is awesome so I haven't even seen the Avengers the last one that came out where like Spider-Man gets dissolved and I only know that because everyone told me about it so I haven't even seen that one yet but I did hear it totally beat the records that did like 1.5 billion opening weekend oh yeah that is a little awkward but you're a good woman you're a good woman to be wanting to do that so i don't know i've heard it sad somebody did like all the marvel movies and like it was like a 60 hour marathon down in salt lake city so um i've heard it's really really good Well, that'll be awesome. I hope I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm probably going to wait for it to come out on Redbox or something, just because there's no point. Haven't seen Wonder Woman. Haven't seen in um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but didn't your brother win, win an, an, an Emmy or something or an Oscar for that? Your brother won some sort of award for the sound, right, Abby? I remember seeing it on your Facebook Academy Award. That's awesome. That is awesome. I just don't like movies. I get super bored. So, but I need to see it just because your brother won an Academy Award with it. That is awesome. That is so cool. But that's just, uh, that's just amazing. I'd be, I'm so excited for him. Uh, I've heard it's really good. I've heard it's amazing. I know a lot of people enjoy it, so I might have to do it. Did he sign it for you, Abby? He better have. He better have signed it for you. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Andre. Thank you so much for the like. I appreciate it. That helps a ton. Thank you so much. Yeah, you should have him sign it for you. That'd be awesome. That is so cool. That is just crazy. Night, Andre. Have a good night. But... No, I need to make a list of movies I need to see. I need to see all the Avenger. I need to see all the Marvel movies. I've seen, like, part of Thor 1. I've seen all of Thor Ragnarok. I've seen part of the first Iron Man. I've just hit and miss. Oh, thank you so much, Abby. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, but I, I need to make a list of movies I need to see because... Um, I'm way behind. I haven't seen Aquaman. I haven't seen anything. Abby, be quiet about Jason Momoa. Stop it. Stop it. Don't want to even want to hear it. But, but yeah. I'll definitely need suggestions for movies to see, so. Abby, I think you're like the only woman on this planet that does not think Jason Momoa is attractive. I'm just saying. <sighs> you wish who was your friend? Oh, yeah, he's gorgeous. And I don't even like muscly men. Oh, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> yeah. We can agree to disagree, Abby. He, he's he's pretty. He's 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 pretty. But, oh, is anybody watching Game of Thrones? I'm not. We don't have HBO, but I know a lot of people are going crazy about it, so. Uh, I, I, don't, I think I'm like two or three seasons behind on Game of Thrones, but I can't believe it's the last season. That's kind of heartbreaking, but. So you just didn't like the beard? He looks good both ways. Sean's read, I think, most of the books, and he says the books are so much better. So I think it's a good idea for him to wait to... and But they aren't, they aren't done writing the books, are they, Lucy? I don't think they are. But, yeah, I've heard the books are way better than the series, but the series is pretty good. But... Bro drives me crazy. Uh, oh, yeah. But I think I think he'll like the series, hopefully. I hope he does. But uh But guys, um, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me. Um I'm sorry if I seem a little bit more down than usual, just with the state of everything, it's just kind of get me down with, um, that synagogue shooting in California a couple days ago. I don't know. Just it's getting to me. So, um, I'm going to try to be a happier person. It's probably not going to work, but I'm going to try. Um, <laughs> but, um, you guys, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful night and please stay safe out there. Um, once again, if there's anything you guys ever need, please, please let me know. You guys can always reach out to me on my Facebook or Instagram. I don't really know how to use Twitter, but I am on Twitter and you can always um, direct message me. But um, Abby, good luck with your new job tomorrow. And uh, Lucy, good luck with uh, with the thing with your sister. Um, you're an amazing woman and a very strong woman. So I know things are going to go well for you. But um, yeah. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I will see you guys next week. And uh, you guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. And thank you so much for the super chats. And just 
thumbsing it up and coming and hanging out. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys all have a wonderful night. Be safe out there, and I will see you next week. Have a great one, guys. Bye, guys.